update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on Wednesday, the 12th of January. Getting to the midway point of the month, we're looking at the up 180, very nice move from the low that was made at 35,639 just three days ago. And here we are uh, nearly a 1,000 points higher, 36,432, having hit, uh, hit 36,453. So we're looking at this 179-point gain. Uh, it shows you that we're in the up channel making higher highs. And so far, we're looking actually at higher lows. And that's going to be very important, really important, that by Friday we don't break underneath 36,200 on a closing basis. So far, this is quite good. A no chart. Oh, my goodness. Sorry about that. Let me just do that. It takes one second. We've got it. You can see the chart on the left is the Dow. In the middle is the weekly. No signal at all in the weekly. No signal in the monthly. S&P, let's run this quickly now. We've got the S&P up. 28 points at 47.41. It's made more than a halfway marker up to the top from the 48.18 high of the fourth down to the 45.82 low of three days ago. Trading now at 47.41, up 28. And you can see that weekly chart, thank goodness, just held the key support in the up channel. But what we're looking at here in the QQQ, the 1, 2, 3, there we go. A nice move up. Uh, up three at 388.93. 4871 was the all-time high in November. Plummets down to the 369 level. And here we are at 388. Very, very quick. Three green bars so far. But I, I think this is going to start to hit resistance as we're looking at it. IWM, the Russell 2000, lousy action. Lousy action is up a dollar thirty at 218. It's gold that's had a very nice move. But look, there it is. Right at the Chapman Wave inside track resistance zone. Is it able to break into the 1825? It's in the 1820s. I said that's going to be a good sign. If it breaks and closes over 1835 on the continuous uh, contract, that's going to be a big deal. And look what happened to the dollar. The dollar pulled back under that key support that I was looking at. And that support really is something to take note of because very often in a rectangle formation, you go sideways, 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 break to the bottom. Then there's a little test. You go back into the rectangle. And then very often there's another pullback to a lower low. So dollar is very important and I'll talk about the bonds when we get back. TLT is only at 140.33. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour coming.